pregnant women find out that they need something called the NTID or Rogam injection because they have a different blood type from their baby. Now, it is not uncommon for pregnant women to have different blood types from their babies, but there are special situations. For instance, there is something called ABO incompatibility or RH factor incompatibility. It typically happens when a woman has O type blood or has a negative rhesus factor. If this is the situation, if her baby has a different blood type from O or the baby has has a positive rhesus factor, then there is a chance that if her baby's blood comes in contact with her blood, that something called sensitization will happen. Sensitization is the process where a woman's blood gets familiar with a blood type that is not her own and begins to make antibodies against that blood type. For the baby that she is carrying, if it is her first pregnancy with that blood type, that baby is usually not affected. The problem is if she decides to get pregnant in the future and her future babies have the same blood type as their previous sibling. If this happens and that mom gets pregnant again with a baby that has the same blood type as its previous sibling, then there is a chance that that mom will send antibodies against her baby's blood and destroy the baby's red blood cells. What happens is a sequelae or a sequence of unfavorable outcomes for the baby. The anti-D or Rogam injection is believed to work by using the antibodies of moms who have already been sensitized to sort of surround or coat the baby's red blood cells as it mingles with its mother's blood cells cells. By coating the baby's red blood cells, you effectively hide or trick the mother's blood from being able to see her baby's blood and becoming sensitized to it. Now, once a pregnant mom becomes sensitized to her baby's blood, the Rogam shot will no longer work against that particular blood type. The Rogam injection is typically given between weeks 28 and 30 of a woman's pregnancy and is also given again at birth if it is noticed that she does indeed have a different blood type from her baby. If you have any more questions, be sure to ask your healthcare provider and they should be able to explain in better detail. Make sure you follow for more helpful maternity, postpartum, and childcare tips.